Hi Yogi, Namaste. Welcome to your mat and to your practice today. So I've got something a little bit more stretchy and chill that's going to be focused on the rotation of your hips. So we're going to do poses and movements transitions that would focus on the external rotation of your hips and also internal rotation of your hips. Okay, let's get started. So come to your mat. We're going to sit in any comfortable seat. All right, I'm in Sukhasana. You can be in hero pose or just a simple cross-legged seat. Have your spine tall. Have your shoulders soft and then very gently place your palms on your knees or on your thighs and then you may close your eyes. We'll take a couple of rounds of breath here just to settle in for your practice. Big inhale and settle in with a slow exhale. Nice and easy. Take another four more rounds of breath at your own pace. Notice how every breath feels. Notice how the body reacts and moves along with the breath. Take another three more cycles of breath here. Finishing off just two more at your own pace, your own cadence. And let's take just one last big inhale and gentle exhale. Now, continuing your breath pattern and keeping the eyes closed, let's begin to tilt the head over to the right. So the right ear almost meeting the right shoulder as you keep both sides of your shoulders soft. Stay, inhale, and exhale. Coming back through center, big breath in. As you exhale, switch sides and drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Stay, inhale, and exhale. And coming back through center, from here, draw the chin upwards to the ceiling. And then return down through center. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck the chin down towards the chest. Now from here, you're just going to test this out. Begin to roll the neck to the left and to the right. Like as if you're just like a pendulum swinging over. Notice how your neck feels. And then maybe if it's comfortable for you, begin to turn these into bigger circles. You don't have to. You can stay exactly where you were. And then maybe if it's still comfortable around your neck, maybe these become almost half circles or maybe even full circles. You can always switch sides anytime. And if there's a spot in your neck that feels a little stiff today, you can always pause, take a moment, allow that to stretch out. Wherever you are, finishing off just two more rounds of breath. One more breath here. The spine remains tall throughout. And let's come back through center. Begin to open your eyes. Now a big breath, inhale, reach the fingers towards the ceiling. As you exhale, we twist over to the right. Left hand on the right knee, right hand cups behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to twist. One more, sit tall. And exhale, take your twist. Come back to the front, inhale, reach your hands up. As you exhale, we twist over to the left. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you twist. One more, inhale. And exhale, take your twist. Come back through the front. Inhale, reach. Fingers up. As you exhale, right palm comes down next to your right hip. And maybe you might walk the hand away from you a little more. Inhale, left fingers reaching upwards. Exhale, take a side bend. Left fingers towards the right, keeping the chest open. And both sides of your hips rooted on the mat for three. Staying for two. Take another breath. Inhale. Exhale, rise. Both hands reach towards the ceiling. As you exhale, left palm comes down. Same thing. Inch it away if you need to. Inhale to reach. Right fingers up. Exhale, come into your side bend. Keep everything open and keep both sides of the hips on the mat for three. For two. Take another breath. Inhale. And exhale, rise. Both hands reach. Inhale. Now exhale, cup the fingers slightly behind the hips. So from the side view, we'll be here. Fingers cupping just a little bit to the back and fingers pointing forward. From here, draw the chest forward, shoulder blades rolling back. Nice big breath here. And exhale, two more breaths. Maybe the gaze goes a little upwards, so stay where you are. Exhale, one more breath, inhale. And exhale. Okay, tuck the chin in, look forward. Walk the hands in closer to your hips. Transfer the fingers forward. Now from here, cup the fingertips down into the mat. We're going to come into a flex spine round the back. Nice, as you press down, begin to look down towards your feet, your ankles for three. Be here for two. Take another breath, inhale, then exhale. From here, look forward. 
Now press the palms down onto the mat and begin to come up onto your hands and your knees, tabletop. So take your time adjusting here, spreading out all 10 fingers, curl the toes behind you, just your regular cat and cow. Inhale, chest comes forward. As you exhale, press and round the back. Take this slow. Just another three more. Inhale, open forward, belly drops. Exhale, belly scoops in as you press down into your hands. Take another two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, scoop. Hands get heavy. One more time. Inhale, open up. And exhale, belly draws in. Now come back to a neutral spine, to the center. Walk your hands slightly forward. Curl the toes behind you. And then sit the butt back a little bit first. Nice. Take a big breath here. You might feel a big stretch into your toes. Inhale and exhale. Now look forward. Press down into your hands. Lift the knees off the mat. We'll come into our first downward facing dog. But before settling in, just move the body side to side, bending one knee, straightening the other, just feeling into your hamstrings. You might add on a bit of side body stretch here as well. Maybe shake the head, nod the head, take any movement at all. All the while, your palms are pressing down strong. Fingers spread out as wide as you can with the knuckles pressing down. Just another two. Let's go ahead and take one more breath in any movement that feels good. Nice. Let's settle in your first downward facing dog. Remember, your palms can open a little wider apart, giving space around the shoulders. And from here, take the chest back to your thighs. Knees can bend. Stay for three. Be here for two. Take another breath. Okay, from here, look forward. Get high into your tippy toes. We begin to walk slowly to the front of your mat. Bend the knees if you need to, but can you feel the weight press into the palms as you do so? Once you arrive at the top, hands to the knees, flat back. Exhale, soften, forward fold. One more time, inhale, flat. Exhale, take it down. Now keep the knees soft. You might open your feet a little wider apart. Grab hold, opposite elbows. Like a rag doll, allow the body to sway side to side. Soften the neck, soften the shoulders, soften the head. Just another three. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Staying for two, giving your lower back a lot of space. Take one more breath. Release the hands down and keep the knees soft. Roll up bit by bit. Take as much time as you need to get up to standing. Once you're there, inhale, reach the hands over the head. As you exhale, bring your hands in prayer down towards the center of your heart. Close your eyes. Stand tall for a moment. Feel the feet pressing down into your mat. Nice. Stay for three. Breathing in and out through the nose for two. Let's do just one more breath. Okay, from here, open your eyes. You might bring your feet a little closer together if you need to. Inhale, reach your hands up high. Exhale, take it down, forward fold, soften the knees. Inhale, hands to knees, flat back. Exhale, go to your first plank pose, step back. Find your high plank, be here, stay, inhale. Exhale, knees down, chest, chin down to the mat. Come into your cobra, inhale, glide forward, release the feet. Exhale, we'll meet back in your downward facing dog, hips up high. Nice, be here, stay for three. Be here for two. Remember, knees can always bend in your down dog. One more breath. Okay, from here, send the right leg up high, big breath. As you exhale, look forward, take the knee to the nose, shift the body forward, and carefully step the foot between the hands. Left knee comes down to the mat. Inhale to reach. Stay here, Anjaneyasana, exhale. Two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. One more, big breath. And exhale. Okay, inhale to reach up. Exhale, we're gonna open and twist towards the right. So your left fingers are reaching forward, right fingers are reaching back. Really reach through the fingers for three, for two, for one. Come back to the front. Inhale, hands reach. On your exhale, right elbow on the right thigh, left hand side bend towards the right three, for two, and for one. Come back up, both hands reach. Inhale. As you exhale, fingertips down, frame the right foot. Now you can use blocks for this, yeah? Begin to peel the toes up. Lift the ball of the foot, shift back. Walk your hands back slightly if you need to. 
Now, the knee can be bent, don't worry about straightening, we're getting to the hamstring here, but keep activating the foot towards the face. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, maybe a slight fold. Two more times, inhale and exhale. Once more, inhale, remember, use your blocks if you have it. Exhale, fold, let's stay for three, for two. Take another breath. Okay, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend the front knee, step the foot. Now this time, palms press down, framing the right foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee off the mat. Press down so much into your palms, your upper back begins to round. Three, two, one. From here, we come to a pigeon pose. Bring the right shin down onto the mat. Left knee lowers onto the mat as well. Adjust yourself, making sure that your body is in the midline, not leaning to the right or the left. Walk the hands forward, coming down into a sleeping pigeon. Can be on your fingertips, your palms, your elbows, or even down forehead towards the mat. Up to you. Let's be here for a couple of rounds of breath. Staying just for five easy breaths. Feeling to that right glute release. Staying for another four. Be here another three breaths. Stay for another two. Let's do just one more breath. Inhale and exhale. Okay, press back up onto your hands. So lift the upper body up. From here, lean slightly to the right. Okay, so shift the weight towards your right slightly. You're going to pull left knee in close towards your right base of the foot. Okay, so we're in the stag position. So front view. It's like a 90-90 hip position. Nice. Fingertips in front of you. Cup the fingers. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, you can stay or begin to walk the fingers forward. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Once more, inhale and exhale wherever you are, either fingertips, palms, elbows, forehead. So coming back down into this variation of your pigeon, stay a couple breaths, just for three. Be here just for two. Let's take our final breath, inhale and exhale. Okay, press the palms up. So you bring the upper body all the way back up. Now from here, we're going to open to the left. So you're going to pivot the body to the left side of the mat until both feet step onto the mat. Now use your hands, fingertips cup next to your hips. You're going to press your way up into a squat malasana, hands to your heart, elbows to the inside of your knees. If you need to start by having fingers down, if the heels are lifted, that's fine. Okay, wherever you are. It's going to move the body side to side. Find your malasana squat. Nice. You can also do this with the hands to your heart. Take a couple more breaths. Three. Be here for two. Take another breath. Okay, settle into stillness. From here, the right palm comes down. The shoulder is to the inside of the knee. Left hand peels up. Maybe left hand peels back. Chest open. Three. For two. And for one, gently release. Come back to Malasana. Hands to heart or hands on your mat. Last breath here. Inhale. And exhale. From here, right hand goes up. Big breath, inhale. Press the right palm to the front of your mat. Now, with the right palm pressing down, lift the butt slightly. Shift the weight to your back foot into the left foot, yeah? From here, you're going to thread this right knee behind the left knee. Take it to the back of your mat. So we're in this modified side plank. You can be on your left tippy toes, left hand reaching up to the ceiling or over the head. Nice. So this is all side body strength, bottom shoulder strength. And your hips are in a little bit of a inner thigh squeezing in. You will feel that, yeah? Stay for three. Be here for two. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Look down. Left palm comes down. Find your plank pose. Step back. Adjust yourself. Inhale here. Knees down. Chest, chin down. Inhale. Come forward. Cobra. Exhale. Back into downward facing dog. Hips up high. Take a few breaths here. You can move the body. You can stay still. Take another two. Nice. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Okay, settle into stillness. Take the left leg up high this time. Three legged like dog. Nice. Reach through the heel. Inhale. Exhale. Look forward. Knee to the nose. Come forward. And let's step the foot. Between the hands, lower the right knee down. 
in your own time. Rise up. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Once more. Inhale. Reach. And exhale. When you're ready, we'll open and twist towards the left. Right fingers reach forward. Left fingers reach back. Stay for three. For two. For one. Come back to the front. Hands up. As you exhale, left elbow on the left thigh, right finger side bending over to the left for three, for two, for one. Come back up, inhale, hands reach. As you exhale, fingertips down, frame the left foot. Once more, you can use your blocks here if you have it. Peel your five toes up, peel the ball of the foot up. Half split from here, walk the fingers closer to you. Now you can keep the knee bent, don't worry about straightening, especially if you don't have blocks. Inhale, lengthen first. Exhale, maybe a mini fold. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Once more, big breath. Inhale. And exhale, wherever you are, stay in your half splits for three. For two. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the foot down, bend the knee. Press the palms down, framing the foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Now, you're going to press down into your palms so much, you're doming your upper back. Three, two, one. Bring the left shin down, pigeon pose. Right knee down towards the mat. Once again, adjust the body first. Make sure you're comfortable here. You're not leaning to the left or the right. And then take your option, maybe on your fingers, palms, elbows, or forehead. A really passive, stretchy pigeon, so don't worry about keeping this active. Couple breaths here for five. Settle in, allow the heaviness of the body to give you that extension and stretch into the left glute for four. Stay for another three. Easy breaths, another two. Let's do one more breath. Okay, let's rise back up onto the hands. Lean to the left. This time, pull the right knee in so that the right knee is close to the left foot. So we're in that 90-90 hips again. Fingers on the mat in front of you. Inhale. You can stay or you can come forward. Inhale. Exhale again, your choice. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale wherever you are. Give yourselves about three rounds of breath here. Easy. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Once more, inhale and exhale. Okay, let's come up. Press up onto your hands. This time we'll pivot towards the right side of your mat until your feet step onto the mat. Fingertips cup next to your hips. You're gonna press your way up into that malasana squat one more time. Hands to your heart or finger support. And then again, start to move the body side to side and just feeling into your body here. Nice, stay for three. Be here for two. Take another breath. Okay, come back through center. This time, the left palm down, shoulder inside of the knee, right hand sweeps up. Maybe right hand sweeps to the back so the chest gets open. Three, for two. Take another breath. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to Malasana. Hands to heart or to the mat. Take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, left hand goes up. Left hand will press to the front of your mat. Now, same thing like before. Press down into the palm, lift the butt. Ground the right foot firm. You're going to thread this left knee behind the right knee to the back of your mat. So you're in this modified side plank again. Maybe get onto your right tippy toes. Right hand extends up and over the head. Nice. Feeling to that bottom shoulder. Feeling into the inner thighs for three, for two. Take your last breath. Inhale. Look down to your mat, right palm comes down, plank, step back. Inhale to stay. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, lower down. Cobra pose, inhale, come forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, tuck the toes, hips up high. And once again, couple breaths here, movement or stillness up to you. Take another breath or two. Now from here, begin to look forward. We'll walk slowly towards the top of the mat. Knees can bend or lick straight. Once you arrive, hands to the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, soften, forward fold. 
Coming all the way up, inhale, reach. Take the hands down to the heart, exhale, close your eyes. Take a couple of breaths. Just another two. Let's do just one more breath, inhale and exhale. Okay, open your eyes, inhale, reach the hands up high. We'll take just two rounds of sun B as you sit back, chair pose, exhale. B here, inhale, exhale to the floor, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, step back or hop back up to you. Take your plank, maybe chaturanga or knees down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, returning to your downward facing dog. Right leg floats to the ceiling. Exhale, step forward. Warrior one, left heel flat as your hands reach up high. Exhale, palms down, go to your plank, flow through. Chaturanga or knees lower. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg floats, inhale. Exhale to the top. Right heel flat, rise, big breath. Exhale, palms down, plank, flow through. You can skip as well. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Pause here, stay for three. Staying for two. Take one more breath. From here, look forward, your choice. So walk, step, or lightly hop, front of your mat. Hands to knees, inhale, flat. Exhale, forward fold. Back to your chair pose, sit back, hands reach. Standing up, Tadasana, hands to the heart. One more set, inhale, reach up high. Exhale, chair pose, sit. Be here, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to knees, flat back. Take your flow, step, hop, chaturanga, or knees to the floor. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Right leg floats. Exhale, step forward. Back heel down, warrior one, hands up. From here, warrior two, open up. So your hips open, stay for three. For two, reach through the fingers. One more breath. Right leg straighten, left hand touch down on the left thigh, right palm flip. Reverse your triangle, three. For two. For one, come back to warrior two. Bend the front knee, open the hands, three. Two. One, pick up the back heel, face forward, high lunge, hands up, three, for two, for one, hands to the heart, lean forward, stay at three, two, one, we're going to hook and twist, left elbow outside of the knee, three, for two, for one, from here, left palm down next to the right foot, it's your simple twist, right hand up, three, and two. And one, plank pose, right palm down, step back. Take your flow or skip. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Breathe here, stay three. Two. And one, left leg floats. Exhale to the top. Warrior one, back heel down, rise. Three. Two. Warrior two, open up. Nice. Stay for three, look to the left fingers, reach through the fingers, two. One, front leg straight, right hand touch down, flip the left palm, take it up, three. Two, come back, warrior two, open up the hands, bend the front knee, two. One, pick up the back heel, high lunge, face forward, hands reach, three. Two, one, hand to the heart, lean forward, three, two. When we twist, right elbow hook. Stay for two. Take another breath. Now untwist yourself. Right palm down, left hand to the ceiling. Three. For two. For one, look down. Bring the left palm down. Find your way back. High plank. Flow through or skip this down dog. Coming back up, hips to the ceiling, down facing dog. Breathe here for three. Staying for two, take another breath. Okay, from here, drop the knees, sit back, child's pose, soften the body. Stay a couple breaths. Be here just another three.
staying another two. One last easy breath. Okay, from here we're going to come up to a seat hero pose or Sukhasana. Sitting tall, place your hands on your knees, close your eyes. And just a few breaths for three. Staying two. Let's do one more breath. Now begin to open your eyes. Okay. Let's take your hands up. Big breath in. He'll reach. Out your mouth as your hands come to your heart. Two more in. He'll reach. Exhale. Once more. Inhale up. Exhale. Keep your eyes closed. Bow down to your fingers. Big breath in. Big breath out. Take your prayer hands to your forehead. Big breath in. Bring the forehead to your mat. Big breath out. And thank you so much for sharing your practice, your energy with us. Namaste, yogis.